everyone, I'm back, it's Caroline, and I'm here on the Relish channel. This week's recipe is how to make the ultimate Malaysian chicken satay. The first part, we're going to actually marinate the meat. So this is my grandma's secret recipe, and I'm going to actually blend everything together. So just, you know, keep whizzing until it's all finely ground together, like so. So there you go, that's your marinade. Now, I always make my, start marinating my meat the day before, but at least if you give it a couple of hours for all those flavors to soak in, your meat's gonna taste so much better. Now, I've got some long, thin strips of chicken breast, not in cubes, this is not a kebab you're making, it's satay. Now, I'm gonna pop about two thirds of the marinade into the meat, into the chicken, and I'm gonna save like, at least a good couple of tablespoons to make the peanut sauce with later. So get your meat, there you go, mix everything together. This is my most popular and most requested dish that all my friends ask for all the time. Okay, so let's leave this now to marinate. Once your meat has marinated, we can now skewer. Now, I am using some of these babies because there's turmeric in, uh, in this recipe and I've learned now, because I've made this so many times, that if I don't use gloves, my hands turn yellow for a good day or so. I've got my wooden skewers soaked in some water and this actually helps prevent them from burning so much on the grill. Now for the skewering part, what you do is you get your little thin strip and you just kind of weave it through. Weave it through the center as much as possible. And this means it's not gonna fall off when it actually goes onto the barbecue. So a good few pieces. Okay, and you just keep going. Okay. Once all your meat has marinated, you can make your peanut sauce. Now I've just got some roasted salted peanuts, which I'm gonna blend up. Okay. I'm actually gonna blitz these so that they're still a bit chunky, okay? So you don't actually have to go too fine. So I'm gonna pulse them. <laughs> Noisy. Not too fine, we still like some chunk in there. Now using your leftover bit of marinade that you saved, we're gonna heat that up into a pan for a couple of minutes. Just so that all those nice flavors. Ooh, that's smelling good. So you can see it's just beginning to brown. Now we can add the peanuts. Pour those in. Start mixing everything together. Now I'm gonna add some water as well just to make it into the sauce. Okay, now you can see your peanut sauce coming together. A few more ingredients. Another tablespoon of brown sugar. And I'm gonna put a little dash of lemon juice as well. Another squirt of lemon juice in it, just to balance out the sweetness. So we'll just leave this to simmer for about five to 10 minutes. It'll go nice and thick. Uh, you can add a little bit more water if you want. Get your griddle pan nice and hot. Get your sticks of chicken straight in there. Now you just keep, cook it a few minutes each side. It doesn't take that long to cook at all. Turn them over halfway through and they'll be ready very soon. I'm just gonna finish the peanut sauce off. It's all lovely and kind of gelling together, which is perfect. Now um, I'm gonna put a dash of coconut milk in, so maybe like a tablespoon or two. This just kind of adds to the extra creaminess of the sauce. I'm also gonna add a dash of this ketchup manis, which is sweet soy sauce. Let's have a taste. It needs to be sweet and salty. Spot on. I'm gonna pop this into my bowl. Yum. All right. I always like to have the satay with a little, a few chunks of cucumber. If you want some extra chili, you can put some in there. I hope you all really enjoy this recipe. Please leave me your comments. Love hearing from you. I think I'm just gonna go and have this whole plate myself. Bye. You can't on that. Dude. Dude. <laughs>